So let's check what we have in our, our presentation. There we've got the compound with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They have numbered them for us. If I check from this side, 1, 2, 3, 4. So uh, after carbon number 2, I've got a double bond. And then if I count from left to right, after carbon number, number 1, 2, 3, 4. After carbon number 4, I'll have a double bond. And 4 is bigger than 3. Therefore, I cannot use the, the other numbering except the one that is shown here. So if I check here, uh, this has a double bond. It belongs to the homologous series of the alkene. Therefore, my suffix for the name will end with ENE. -E. And then it has six carbons. For six carbons, my parent name will have HEX. I've got a double bond. And then when I check after carbon number two, that's my lower number. That's where I've got a double bond. And then if I do another numbering, it will be at cover after carbon number four. Therefore, that one will be incorrect. So I'm going to take uh, the double bond after carbon number two. So it will end with, uh, the, so the parent name will be hex dash two dash in. But that is not all because if I check here, I've got a substituent at carbon number three. I've got another substituent of carbon after carbon number uh, at carbon number three, and those. No, this is carbon number four. Now the numbers are confusing me. Don't let them confuse you also. Carbon number three, I've got this substituent. Carbon number four, I've got the same type of substituent. So here I've got identical substituent of one carbon and one carbon. Still at carbon number four, I've got this substituent with two carbons. All right. So in that case, uh, I know that E comes before M. But then the E that comes before M is not going to determine the number of my carbons the numbering of my carbon. So I'm not going to change my numbering because of uh, the, the E that comes before M. The numbering for the alkene uh, is determined by the double bond, not the substituent. The substituent will be there, but they will not determine the number, the, how I'm going to number my uh, parent name. So if I check here at carbon number four, I've got E, and then carbon number three, I've got M, carbon number four, I've got M. And then, so I know that E comes before M. So ethyl will come, will, will come before methyl. So the name there will be at carbon number four, I've got methyl. At carbon number three and carbon number four, I've got two methyl. Therefore, I put dye to a 3.3,4-dimethyl uh, hex 2-in. So that's the name of my compound. So let's have a look at another example, because this one I, I think will need another example so that you, you are not uh, worried about uh, naming the compound. So I'm going to draw a compound here, and I need you to, for a few seconds, just to think about the name. Uh, made some mess there, so some, you cannot see what is happening. We've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. There's double bond there. Uh, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we had a substituent there. One, two, three. We had another substituent there with the double bond and two carbons. Uh, I'm going to put another substituent there with one carbon. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Therefore, I cannot put another substituent there. Let me put another one there. Okay. One, two, three, four. And the hydrogens around each substituent and the parent name. So let us give the name to this compound that we have here. I'm going to give you a few seconds after I, I, I remove my hand here so that you can see the, the structure. You've got one, two, three, four, five. And then there you've got one, two. Here you've got one, two. 
and then there you've got another substituent there. Quickly draw this so that we can give the name to this compound. All right. Uh, after drawing this structure, now we must check. Let us label our carbons in the long chain. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, this is the long chain that we can take. We cannot take this one. One, two, three, four, five. We still have five. But then you won't know what, how to call that one because it's going to give you problems. So we'll take it in the long chain uh, where we've got five carbons. So I can label them from one, two, three, four, five. Or I can label from this side where I've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay? So if I check here, uh, remember we said when you label the, the compound uh, containing double bond, you don't worry about the substituent. Your worry is with where the double bond is. So if I check here, after carbon number three, I've got a double bond. And then after carbon number two, I've got a double bond. Therefore, I'm not going to take that numbering. The bottom numbering is not the, the, the one that I will consider because it gives me the bigger number. But this one, after carbon number two, I've got a substituent. Therefore, that's the one that I'm going to consider. All right? So if I have to give the name to this one, I will say, uh, if I check there, I've got a methyl. I've got a methyl. I've got another methyl uh, there. I've got another methyl. But here I've got an ethyl. All right? So let's, let's go to the name. They, they are one, two, three, four, five. So I know the parent name will start with pent. Will start with pent and it will end with E and E. And the number, I must not forget that between these two, I must put the number of the double, where the double bond is. So the name, we say, uh, if I check, I've got E and M, but I know that E comes before M. And then uh, at carbon number three, at carbon number three, I've got a, an ethyl, all right? And then at carbon number, another dash, at carbon number two, again at carbon number four, Another one at carbon number four. I've got one, two, three. My numbers are also one, two, three. And then I put a dash. Uh, because there are three of them, I must start with try to indicate that there are three substituents of methyl. And then the parent name has five. We said it's paint. And then after carbon number two, after carbon number two, I've got a double bond, paint in. All right. So the name there is 3-methyl-2,4,4-trimethyl-paint-2-in. So that's the name of this structure that we have there. So before I go on, let me just check uh, your part of your homework. If you check there, under drawing the structures, we've got this one. I'm sorry. Uh, we've, got, we've got this one, and that has an in. Therefore, you have to draw the structure for this one. And then how do you do it? You start with the parent name. Build, you know how many carbons are there. And then they say after carbon number 
one you've got an in and then after that label your carbons and put the substituent where it's supposed to be so number five also is an in you also do the same uh, check uh, the parent name has how many carbons after which carbon you put the double bond after that like label all other carbons and so that you can see where your substituents are so supposed to be all right so that's uh, the next activity that you'll be doing as part of your homework back to our presentation so we are done with the alkane we are done with the alkene we are doing the last hydrocarbon which is the alkyne 